okay, so this term components, this is the content heat drain pump. So normally we only use for the, you know, the high efficiency furnace and then there's no drain, no floor drain around the furnace. So uh, when we install the high efficiency furnace, because the old house maybe they never think about the use the you know high efficiency furnace. Yeah, so there's no floor drain there. Yeah, so uh, if if like that, after we install the high efficiency furnace, or even not a, not a high efficiency furnace, even the the only the a coil there. Yeah, so the air conditioner a coil there. Yeah, so we still need the condensate pump. So pump to the water to the to the closest floor uh, floor drain or the or the drain system, you know. Yeah. So right side here is a is a you know leak water leak. So maybe is a this pump it's blocked and it cannot pump the the condensed water out. Yeah. So or maybe you know some something the inside the pump is a, the part is a, is broken. And not running, yeah. So, but doesn't matter. So anything. So the water run from here, yeah. So just just around the pump here is a lots of uh, stainless stains here, yeah. So you know maybe need to change the the this this condensate pump, yeah. But uh, uh, anything about the house, the water is a is a big big trouble, big damage for the for the housing, yeah. So. Uh, every everywhere, if there's a there's a there's a water pipe, so we should be careful. Okay, this one's a, a neutralizer. So this one for some province maybe we never saw this, and uh, some province they required. Okay, so uh, if they don't have this neutralizer. So that's what we talked before. So the furnace flew. So they have the acid inside, in fact. If they melt in the water, the water will be acid too. Yeah, so uh, if like that, we don't allow the high efficiency furnace condensate water, just drain directly to the sump pump. So it's not allowed. Yeah, just because it's, uh, it's damaged to the, to the pump, you know. Yeah, but, uh, but some province is uh, required before the, you know, the, the, the condensate drain. Yeah, so they need a neutralizer to, to make the, you know, the acid to, to neutral. So it's not that, uh, that, uh, that bad for the drain pipe. Yeah, so because some, some, some house, the drain pipe is, uh, is uh, on, is uh, if it's if always drain the, the, you know, the, the condensate water, yeah, so it will damage the you know the pipe. Yeah, so not uh, not all the provinces have this one, but uh, but we shouldn't know. We shouldn't know. So if you you melt like this and you see the color is changed, so this needs to be replaced. Yeah. Standing pilot. Okay, so this is a category one furnace, so must be have. Yeah, so. This standing pilot, this small flame always there, doesn't matter the summer or winter, if we need the heat or not. So that's, uh, that's makes the, you know, the furnace, the efficiency is lower. Yeah, so we can, we can treat this uh, aluminum pipe. This just go to the, you know, the gas valve. So normally the gas valve, there's a knob there. So we can see it's an off on pilot. So we turn the, to the pilot and then press down. So then the, the, you know, the gas will come out from this small pipe. So we use the barbecue lighter or something and just light the pilot. So just hold the, hold that knob for maybe 30 seconds. So after you release that, 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 that knob, so if this flame keeps there, so that's mean the, you know, the thermal couple is, is works good. If you, if the flame cannot keep there, so, maybe this thermal couple need to be replaced. Yeah, so we can see there's two, two come out. One is aluminum, one is uh, it's copper. Yeah, all these two connect to the gas valve, okay? This is a thermal couple. That's we saw this uh, copper, this uh, copper line here. Yeah, in fact, it's, a, it's a, like it's a small pipe, you know? Yeah, so it's a, it's a copper materials. Yeah, so when the flame hit the, the, the end here, it will generate the small, uh, micro uh, voltage 
and let the you know the gas gas valve the solenoid know and 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 create the you know the power yeah so so after that so the you know that uh, uh, that pilot valve will be always keep open yeah so if the pilot if the pilot cannot keep open so that means so maybe this pilot this is some couple is not not work it okay thermal pile thermal pile is a, the function is the same with the the thermal couple but uh, but the difference is uh, they, they can generate a different uh, voltage yeah so I think uh, I think normally this only uh, let me see it's only 30 50 maybe. Yeah, you so bet. They're about thirty to fifty for a thermal couple, Sam, and then about five hundred to seven hundred fifty millivolts for that. Yeah, five hundred to seventy, seven fifty, seven fifty mil mil voltage. Yeah, so that's a big difference. Yeah, so sometimes, so we use this thermal pile for the fireplace. Yeah, so so the, the you know sometimes the fireplace maybe use both. I don't know why they use both, but. Uh, but sometime we met, there's a boss there. Okay, so flame sensor. Flame sensor, just like this rod, but a different style. Maybe it's a straight, maybe it's an angle. Yeah, so, but doesn't matter. So is this a flame sensor, this is special materials, and it can generate, a, you know, a small ampere and, and send to the, to the control, control board. And then the control bar know, okay, so there is a flame there. And uh, if it's still call for heat, so that just keep the gas valve open. Yeah, it's a big flame there. Yeah, so sometime if we take out, we can we can see, we can see the, the rod here, around here is black. Uh, or sometimes it's, uh, it looks rusted, you know. Yeah, so that means, so it's, it's better to change the new new rod. So sometimes when we when we repair, we just uh, use the sandpaper just clean, but uh, but not every time is uh, is works. You know, sometimes after clean, it still can use for half year, one year. Sometimes maybe several days. Sometimes not not work. Yeah. So hot surface igniter. So this normally used for the at least uh, mid efficiency furnace, but most times so in the high efficiency, we use the hot surface igniter. Yeah, we can see this one is silicone. So you, if you use the, the flashlight, so to see somewhere like, like a, you see this is a brightness here. So maybe it's a white stuff on there. Uh, Sometimes you can see the, the crack there. Yeah, if you saw like that, so that's mean that, you know, the, the igniter needs to be changed, but don't touch that. So especially like this one, so this silicone is uh, is easy to broke. Uh, sometimes when we when they clean the, the burner here, the touch here is broken. Yeah, you need a new one. Yeah, but uh, but uh, the newer hot surface is more stronger. Yeah, solenoid valve. This we talk about uh, in the humidifier already. Yeah, so so this one. So when the you know the the humidity state call for humidifier to, to run. So the, you know, the, this, this solenoid valve will get a, a normally 24 volts power and then keep the valve open. The water will, will go through the pad or some, some of the, the pan inside. Yeah, so the working principle just like that. Yeah, so this is very important. Sometimes though, there, they, they don't have the, the humidity state. They just use the, you know, the, the furnace side. Uh, so, but that's that not, not good. So we recommend use the community stat is a control better. Pressure switch. So this one for the high efficiency furnace. So all the furnace, there's the inducer motor. Yeah, it doesn't matter uh, high efficiency or mid efficiency. If there's an inducer motor, so there must be the pressure switch. The, see this pressure switch normally only two wires there. Yeah, so in fact, inside it's just like the light switch on off. Yeah, so if there's a pressure, they feel the pressure enough. So this switch will be will be on, connect together. 
Yeah, so, and then control border, we will know, okay, so now the inducer motor working good and the pressure enough. So just the, the power just come from here and back to the to the control board. Yeah, so if not, not enough air circulation, not, not, not enough air pressure, this not work. Yeah, so not, if not work, they not like the furnace, you know. High limit thermal snap disk. Okay, so we have a different kind of uh, a high limit switch. So this one is uh, just put outside the, the cover. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's like a snap. Yeah, so, so but, uh, but maybe there's still a small hole uh, on the, you know, the, the Hitchinger area. Yeah, so sometimes, so maybe not, not no hole there. Yeah, they just uh, feel the outside the temperature. Yeah, sometimes there's a hole. Yeah, so, so this one just put inside the, the Hitchinger and this outside, so it's feel inside the temperature. Yeah, but uh, there's a some is a it's a long it's a long like a like a like a long parts. It's the end of the parts. So there's a like a sensor like this. Yeah, so it's different style, but uh, same function. Capacitors. Okay, so this one I want talk uh, talk more about the capacitor because because it's a it's a sometimes it's easy to to check and uh, you should know how to how to check if the uh, if you don't have the like a multimeter yeah capacitors uh, most use of our psc uh, motor is a permanent split capacitor yeah so uh, this motor normally is uh, uh, like the ac motor okay yeah so that's like like we said before there's small holes there and uh, maybe you need to need to take picture uh, to check if there's a dirt dust communicated here, and uh, and this uh, the capacitor. So all the AC motor we need a capacitor. A uh, capacitor the function is just uh, create a a torque, just make the fan running. So for example, if you don't have the uh, multimeter to test the capacitor if it's uh, good or not. So how do you know? So when you run the blow motor. The motor is mm, just like that, and the, and the fan not running. But if you use a finger or some some stuff to help to run, to help to turn the fan, so the the fan is running uh, normally. So that means the motor is okay. Capacitor is need to be changed. Okay. So capacitor. So for furnace, normally there is a seven point five uh, mil fa or five or ten mil fa. Yeah. So. That's, that's normally we matter only these three kind of uh, capacitor is different uh, here. So we can see here is 7.5. 7 yeah, so this number depend on the horsepower of the motor. Yeah, so so if, if yours uh, is one horse, horse, horsepower uh, motor, so maybe you need a, a 7.5 or 10 mil fa. If you only uh, half, half a horsepower, so maybe you only need a five. Yeah, so that's a, that's a little difference. Here, another kind of uh, capacitor we, we will meet in the air conditioner. Yeah, so, so for the outside uh, condenser unit, so you can see there's a cover here. If we take this cover, so we can see the inside, the, you know, the electronic uh, parts inside. This is a capacitor, it's rusted. So anything if rusted, that means it's not good. Yeah, so so even it's still working good, so we still need to make in the nose and uh, recommend to change. Okay, yeah, so this one is a is a bulging on the top or end. So so one rust, another is a, this end or this end. If it's uh, it's bulging, so that's mean. So this uh, this capacitor is uh, need to be changed. Okay, so all the air conditioner. The condensing unit we met will be the capacity like this. This uh, normally we call two in one. Yeah, two two capacitor in one. Yeah, so like here is three wires. Normally it's three wires there. So we can see the mark on the on the top here is H E R M. This means it's capacitor. It's a, a hermetical capacitor. Yeah, uh, uh, co compressor. Yeah, so this is a compressor. Yeah, that means this wire is go to capacitor, uh, compressor. 
Yeah, and this is a fan. So you still can see there's an F there. Yeah, so this fan is go to this blower motor. Yeah, and there's a common, it's a C there. Yeah, this common, that's mean. So there should be two wire on this one. So one wire for fan with this one, go to the, this motor. And, and another common wire with this, this gram wire to go to compressor. Yeah, so, so this is the, the normal uh, in the condenser unit you will find. Yeah, that means this one just make the compressor, there's a talk. And this one is for the motor have a talk and then that is running. Yeah, so there's the, there's the ratings here, 45 slash five mu fa. That means 45 means it's a herm, it's a compressor's capacitor. We can use two, okay? For example, this is a problem. If we don't have the, like this one, but we have a one capacitor 45, another five, we can use two. So it doesn't matter, but, but, but use one is, it looks uh, better, you know? Yeah, so like uh, the right here, so we can see clear. C is common, F for fun, H for compressor. Yeah, C, A, F or H. Yeah, so, so you just know, so how to, how to figure out which wire should be where.